thing that I like the most about training for the Wildcats is basically just the fans and how much they get into it and just the look on their faces when they only see one of me out there. I'm the only cheerleader because the other one quit. She didn't want to go on to districts and states. Um, at the very beginning of the season, there were two. And then coming into Bi-County, the other one just decided not to go on anymore. And so I told my mom, who is also my coach, that I just basically wanted to go and keep going and just not give up on the boys. And I thought that the boys and the girls both deserved it. Last year, after the coach resigned, they opened the position and they really didn't have anybody come in. And I know this is what Tessa loves to do. So I'm like, well, got to do it. So I became the coach. Well, when I was little, I always used to come to the games and watch all the cheerleaders. My friend used to be a cheerleader. And so I basically, when I was about 13, was when I really wanted to just become one. And when I started, it was awesome. It's hard. I sometimes find myself talking to myself and there's nobody else around. But I do have the mascot and he talks to me sometimes and tells me what he thinks about what I'm saying. There's not that many cheerleaders because they're all in sports. They do basketball. Some of them are stats for the basketball team. Our school doesn't have a lot of people in it. I hope I'm adding to the spirit of the school by taking the role on of being the only cheerleader for the first time. Definitely proud of her. This, this is what she wants to do, and this is, she's great at it. She's, she's really good. She's definitely a cheerleader. Defense, defense, defense.